alaikum everyone hope you guys are doing well today i wanted to share with you four uh, different types of salads with different seasonings this is for to give you a new way to make your um veggies i will need for this some green beans that are already boiled i will also need beetroot these are already cooked you can buy them at the grocery store like this I've got some boiled potatoes or steamed potatoes, cut in cubes, and then some carrots, boiled carrots, cut into long strips like this. For this, I will also need uh, red onions. You can choose white ones as well. Half lemon or lime, two cloves of garlic, and plenty of coriander or parsley. Some salt, extra virgin olive oil, you need to choose a good one some white vinegar or any kind of vinegar you prefer we'll also need some chili powder some ground coriander black pepper sweet paprika some cumin seeds as well as cumin powder if you want to try a new uh, spice you can choose this one this is chili flakes a turkish one i will be using them for my carrots they give a very nice smoky flavor but if you don't have them you can just go with the uh, normal chili powder first thing i'll start with my green beans that are already boiled i will cut into chunks my garlic you don't need to grate it or anything because we're not gonna eat it just give a nice flavor to my beans i'll add some salt some black pepper there is a lot of extra virgin olive oil and some vinegar and that's it i'll just give it a good mix sorry i do like to mix with my hands but you can go with a spoon or spatula just give it a mix if you want you can keep it in the fridge for one to two days it's going to be even better now i'll cut my beetroots cut them into cubes as well these are already cooked as i said you can buy fresh ones and cook them but they take so much time i find it easier to use just the cooked ones bought in the store to my beetroots i will add some fresh coriander I'll add some salt, of course, some black pepper, a little bit of distilled vinegar, and some extra virgin oil. We won't need garlic for this because uh, it's sweet, so it doesn't match good with the garlic. We'll just give it a good mix and it's ready. Now for my potatoes, I will need to cut a red onion into very small pieces. This is quite strong. You can go ahead with white onions or spring onions. I do prefer red onions. We'll add them to our potatoes. I will also add some fresh coriander, some salt, some black pepper. I will also add some coriander and plenty of cumin powder. Then I will drizzle some extra virgin olive oil and also add the juice of half a lime or a lemon. lemon tastes very nice with potato salad i'll give it a good mix and keep it aside for later okay next step is um, carrot salad for this i will need a pan i'll drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on the pan Add a crushed garlic just to give it taste, some cumin seeds, give it a good stir and leave it for about 
30 seconds, one minute, just that it starts releasing the flavors on the olive oil. Then I will add my carrots, give them a good stir. It's just gonna take about one minute. To this I will add my spices, some coriander, some paprika, that chili flakes that I told you about. If you don't have, you can just add red chili. I will also add some salt, give it a stir, and voila, it's already done. I will switch off the cooker and then add my coriander. We don't want the coriander to burn at this stage. Just give it a good stir and leave it in the pan. Tops all, all the flavor and it's ready. To serve this, I will need some salad leaves. I do have some iceberg leaves, but the best one are the long ones or any kind of salad. You will need also some olives and some boiled eggs to decorate my salad. I did create four compartments on my plate so the salads don't get mixed. There's nothing special about this presentation. In the next videos I will show you a proper uh, Moroccan salad uh, which is ideal for guests or for special occasions. But this is just a normal one for every day. I'll put in each compartment a different salad. I'll put the potatoes as well. These salads can be kept in the fridge and consumed up to two or three days. Now we'll put a little bit of olives. If you do have radishes or uh, cheese in cubes, you can also use some charcuterie. Now to finish up with decoration, add some boiled eggs and a cut tomato. You can choose any kind of decoration. Just a suggestion for an easy and quick salad. I hope you guys did like my video. If you did enjoy this recipe, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave comments below. And thank you guys. See you next. Bye bye.